In a city that had been destroyed, there was a man walking, and he seemed to be sighing and he said, that's annoying. But around the man was a group of monsters who were watching him. The man also realized the presence of the monsters. He immediately stopped his steps and looked around. Then he said, why are they running here and disturbing people? Is this around Anyang? Then the man saw three monsters that were eating humans. The man said, I found him. But it looks like he's already been eaten. That's subjective. Then the three monsters realized there was a person behind them, and a notification from the system appeared telling the man that they were glaring at you. The man sighed and said, What can I do about that insincere name? Then the three monsters quickly moved towards the man, and they immediately pulled out their claws. The man took out his dagger and the system said, You trigger addition. You trigger multiplication. Then, with one slash, the three monsters were defeated by the man. After that, the man went straight to his base again. The place had a very large and tall gate, and the place looked like a fortress. The man immediately knocked on the gate, and he said, Hey, open the gate. Then his friend came to open the gate, and he said, Hyung, are you here? That person was a hard player named Jum Jum Jun. After that, the man entered the gate and said, I'm sick of this. Can't you make other people do this? Jum Jum Jun replied, You know, no one else did it except you, Kung. But what about the person who ran away? The man replied, He died. All his body parts were eaten by monsters. Jum Jun was surprised to hear that and said, But there were three class of monsters that ate him. The man replied, Yes, something like that. After hearing such an answer, Jum Jung Jun thought that class of monsters are as strong as hard mode players. It's dangerous if there are three of them around, we have to deal with them quickly. He then asked the man Hyung, where are they? And the man replied, I killed them all. Jim Jung Jun replied, I understand. The man left immediately and said, I'm hungry, let's eat. Jim Jung Jun said, Hyung, be honest with me. Come, you're not really an easy mode player, right? Then there we are finally introduced by the main player. The man is an easy player named Kang Ta San. Kang Ta San thought it was a stupid question, and he said, what kind of nonsense is that? There are many people who have passed through the maze with me. Why do you ask them? Before Kang Ta San could finish his speech, Jum Jung Jun said, all easy players are dead now except you, right? Even the ones who joined from time to time died in two days. Kang Ta San said, is that so? Jum Jung Jun continued to press his question, and he said, honestly, how can easy players survive in the current situation? Even normal player can barely survive, so it's strange that you can survive until now. How can you be so strong? I'm also a hard mode player, but I'm sure I'm no match for you. After hearing such words, Kang Tastan was silent for a moment, and he immediately said, that's because you guys conquered that place in a haphazard manner. Jung Jung Jun said, look, that excuse again. Then they got to the dining room, where Kang Tastan got his food, but he didn't look very happy, and he said, what's with the potatoes again? Can't they grow something else? You have sweet potatoes and corn too, right? Jum Jung Jun said no, but aren't potatoes the most efficient food, right? Even with this simple cultivation skill, we have a limit to the amount we can produce. Jum Jung Jun asked Hyung, did you not learn the simple cultivation skill? King Ta San replied, how can easy player learn it? There's plenty of food everywhere. Jum Jung Jun said, I think that's true too. Then, when they were eating their food, outside the dining room there was an angry person, and that person seemed to be angry with a man there. The person pulled the man's shirt and shouted, Don't make me laugh. That's impossible. The man said, Friend, calm down first. Kang Ta San immediately saw them, and he said, Looks like the other person who conquered the maze is here again. Jim Jung Jun said, It seems so. The commotion continued, the place became chaotic. Kang Ta San said this time, You will be pressured after making a scene, and you might need to listen to the explanation step by step. Jim Jung Jun said, Yes. It seems like that person is a tough player, right? I think you should interfere, Young. Then the people outside shouted for Kang Ta Sam, they shouted, Ta Sam. Hurry up and help us. It's not just a commotion. That person had made a lot of mess there. He said, don't make me laugh. How did Earth become like this? It should have been over when I came back to Earth. Is there a hidden camera? Don't mess with me. Kang Ta San came out of the dining room and he immediately asked the soldier who was there. He said, what about Lee Tadion? The soldier said, he's out for reconnaissance right now. Then an old man came up to him, and he said, easy boy, this is Earth. 
The world has changed a lot while you were in the labyrinth. So please calm down and let's talk. The person immediately slapped the old man and he said, I told you not to make me laugh. Seeing that things had gotten out of hand, Kang Ta San said, I think I should interfere. Jim Jung Jun smiled and said, Have fun. Kang Ta San said, You, if my fart runs out when I get back, I'll kill you. Jim Jung Jun, who originally smiled happily because he could get two potatoes, after hearing those words, he immediately felt a little scared. Kang Ta San immediately approached the person and he said, Unfortunately, you are on earth. And humanity is dying right now. The person said, Don't make me laugh. Kang Ta San said, Is that your habit? The person yelled at Kang Ta San. He said, This can't be earth. You have so many players but can't stop that monster. Don't lie to me. Kang Ta San did not respond to that person and he just said, It started again. Then Kang Ta San explained that most of the players who return to Earth from the labyrinth, that person will not be able to accept the state of Earth like this, and they go crazy because of it. And that is a common occurrence and is not something that is easily accepted. Kang Ta San saw it and he said then, there is only one way. Then Kang Ta San said to that person, well, it looks like I have to beat you up first so that you can accept reality. What's your name? Then the request for a duel came up. The person replied, My name is Li Chang Chun. Duel? Who are you? Kang Ta San replied, My name is Kang Ta San. Upon hearing the name, Li Chang Chun immediately made a gesture like he was belittling Ta San. He said, Kang Ta San, the guy who always talks a lot in the community about the topic of easy mode player, that's funny. Easy player dares to ask for a duel with hard player? Do you know that the strength of the players varies greatly depending on the difficulty level? Kang Ta San said, shut up and move forward. If you win, I will show you the real world that you want so badly. Li Chang Chun was challenged by Kang Ta San's words. He immediately took out his sword, and he said, don't regret it later. I don't even care if you die for my attack later. Then, Li Chang Chun also issued his skill. The system appeared and showed us he was activating augmentation. A skill that can make half of the basic attack power added. Next, he activated focus. Skills that make attacks have a high chance of hitting the target. Then the last one he activated strong attack. Skills that make the attack will cause significant damage to the next attack. After that Kang Ta San said, both addition and strong attack are activated. That's good. Then Li Chang Chun very quickly moved towards Kang Ta San, and he immediately released his slash. Kang Ta San just stood there watching the man attacking him. Then the attack created a big explosion. After that the message from the system appeared. It was written that the cancellation of the first attack on Kang Ta San was activated. Then the system informed that Kang Ta San received zero damage. Li Chang Chun was surprised to see that his attack had no effect. After that the smoke began to fade, and there was seen that Kang Ta San was holding his sword, and he casually said that's it. Li Chang Chun was surprised to see that, and he said, did my attack not work? He cancelled my first attack. I've never heard of such a thing. Then when he was trying to get his sword back, Kang Ta San immediately prepared his attack and he said, It's my turn now. Then Kang Ta San immediately punched his stomach, but Li Chang Chun's defense skill activated and it caused the damage he received to be reduced by half. But Kang Ta San has a skill that can ignore all the defenses and skills possessed by his opponent. Then the system informed that Kang Ta San only dealt 49 damage to Li Chang Chun. Li Chang Chun said only 49 damage. That's right. Stats are absolute and the level difference between easy and hard players cannot be narrowed down. Then he managed to remove his sword from Kang Ta San's grasp. Kang Ta San clenched his fist again and said you have more than 10,000 health, right? Kang Ta San then activated skill addition, which made his attack twice as strong. Then he activated the multiplication skill, which made his attack double and made his attack four times stronger and he activated the ultimate judgment skill, which allowed him to ignore all defenses and defense skills from the opponent. Li Chang Chun was frightened by the attack, and he said, wait. Then, Kang Ta San said, feel this. Then Kang Ta San just hit the back of his head slowly, but even though he attacked him slowly, his attack could make a very strong explosion and make the ground there crumble. Li Chang Chun immediately fell to the ground, and he immediately received 4604 damage. After that, Kang Ta San immediately said, Do you accept it now? This is really Earth. While moaning in pain, Li Chang Chun said, 
don't make me laugh. Then he immediately cried and said, why, why did the world become like this? If I knew it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have conquered the labyrinth. In the past, when the world was still peaceful, one day the sky suddenly split open and monsters appeared out. Then a choice was presented to humans. They were given the opportunity to enter the maze by choosing their own difficulty level, and they had to conquer the maze and return to Earth. To an Earth filled with monsters, which is bound for destruction. After that, Kang Tasan said, What can we do now? We must try our best to save the world, even if it's like this. After that, Jum Jung Jun came up to Kang Tasan, and he said, Hyung, you've worked hard. Kang Tasan said, Are you still here? Jim Jung Jun replied, Of course I came to see my brother in action. Kang Ta San said, Stop your nonsense. Jim Jung Jun said, But you're really amazing. Even for a hard player, that was a crushing blow. After the fight, Li Chang Chun was helped to his feet by the old man he had slapped earlier and took him to a rest tent. There, Li Chung Chen was still crying because he still couldn't accept the fact that the earth had become like this. After that, Jung Jun Jim threw the potato that was previously left to him. Kang Tasan also responded to the words given by Jung Jun Jung before it. He said, Is there something impressive about defeating a weak person like that? Jung Jun Jim said, It's not that he's weak, but you're too strong. Kang Tasan immediately ate the potatoes and he said, The food is getting cold. This is why I don't want to go. Jim Jung Jun asked, But really, what's with the doubling skill? Absolute judgment, negligible endurance? Where did that kind of skill come from? First strike cancelled. What kind of skill is that? There are skills that only you have. Where did you get it? Kang Ta San replied, I got it through hard work. Jim Jung Jun said, you keep saying that. Then, there were many people cheering. Jim Jung Jun said, is there another new player here? What a great day. Kang Ta San said, I don't think so. And there was a girl who had just arrived, and the people around her were welcoming her happily. Kang Ta San looked at that person, and he said, looks like Lee Tae Yan is back. After that, Kang Tasan went to the residence of a player. There it was seen that his house had a lot of very interesting and rare decorations. Kang Tasan said, Even though humanity will soon be extinct, you are still fussing about decorations. Kang Tasan also spoke to that person. He said, You are still obsessed with something like this. Then Kang Tasan saw that there was a very big painting there, and the painting looked very good. Kang Tasan thought that outside, where all kinds of monsters are roaming around, a person who can carry such a big painting without a single scratch. The only human who quickly completed his mode. Then Kang Tasan spoke to that person. He said, Why is the strongest human a woman like you? Li Tadian. It turned out that the person who had a house full of decorations like that was Li Tadian, and there he was sitting in his chair leisurely. Then he said, Especially in times like this, obsession with something is important. How about having a hobby like me? Kang Ta San said, We'll talk about it when you have some free time. Then, why did you call me here? Li Ta Yan said beginners in hard mode, did you educate them? Easy mode players beat up hard mode players. It's a strange story whenever you hear it. Then, Li Ta Yan showed his status, and the screen of his status was being shown to Kang Ta San, and it was also written that the target is in a state of fear. After Li Ta Yan showed his status, Kang Ta San said, Are you bragging? Li Ta Yan said, Just a simple check. Show me your status too. Then Kang Ta San also showed his status, and he said, It feels like bragging. It's easy for players to feel sorry for themselves, isn't it? Then it was seen that the status of Kang Ta San was very far when compared to Li Ta Yan, and it was also written that Target is in Prima. After that, Li Ta Yan immediately checked his status and he said, as expected, you are very weak. Kang Ta San said, Are you suggesting we fight? Li Ta Yan said, Didn't I say it was just a simple check? But for an easy player, you're pretty good. Then it was explained that the maze was divided into four different difficulties. When players conquer the maze, all growth will stop, making it impossible for players to become stronger. The power gap depends on the difficulty level, and the stats possessed by hard players were definitely higher than Ta San's. However, none of them could withstand even a single attack from Tasan. The reason was the skill that Tasan possessed. After that, Li Taiyan took out an object that looked like a pen, and he said, Stay there. Then, Li Taiyan activated the addition skill, which made him gain half the power of the basic attack. Then, he activated the double attack skill, which made his attack twice as powerful. And he also activated the definite attack skill, 
which made his attack sure to hit its target. After that, Li Tanyan directly attacked Kang Tasan, and his attack made a tremendous wind slash. Then the slash directly hit Kang Tasan and created a huge explosion. And there it is explained that skills can be obtained regardless of the difficulty level. And one of the skills possessed by Tasan was absolute cancellation of the first attack. Due to that skill, Kang Tasan did not receive any damage, even though the attack could make the wall behind Tasan shatter into pieces. After Kang Tasan said, What are you doing? Li Tanyan said, Just now. Nothing. Absolute attack cancellation, absolute judgment, multi layered attack, many time stop. Skills that don't make sense. Do you have about 200 skills? Kang Tasan said, About 230. Li Tanyan said, You said that the skills were acquired while playing in the tower element, right? We should understand the tower completely like you. We should strive to be the strongest, not just focus on conquering it. Kang Ta San replied, Who knows? That's all in the past. Li Tang Yan said, That's not necessarily true. Anyway, you're amazing. If you play in alone mode, we might have a chance to win. Then it was explained that Ta San's skills were strong, but they were mostly used based on her stats, so the current Ta San couldn't even use half of his skills. After that, Kang Ta San said, Can we stop talking about it now? Let's get straight to the point. You went for reconnaissance, right? Li Tai Yan replied, That's right. And the monster wave is about to attack. Upon hearing that, Kang Ta San was immediately shocked, because he knew that the monster wave was a very bad event. Then, Kang Ta San said it, it's over. Then Kang Ta San thought that the next wave will start soon. Every time a wave starts, many people die, and the territory shrinks significantly. In the first wave, humanity lost Seoul in the second wave, half of the formidable players lost their lives. In the third wave, we could only defend a small town. And this is the fourth wave. Then, Kang Ta San asked, how many monsters are there? Li Tang Yan replied, two S-class, dozens of A-class, hundreds of B-class, and the apostles. Upon hearing that, Kang Ta San immediately stroked his head, and he thought in a situation where even Li Tai Yan can barely handle two S-classes. We don't have enough hard players to handle the A-classes. And an apostle who surpasses the S-class. Is defeat inevitable? After which, Li Tian said, but we have to fight. Tasan, please handle the two S-classes. Kang Tasan said, do you want me to die? Li Tian said, I have to face the apostles, and no one else can handle the S-class. You know this, right? Kang Tasan went straight to the exit and said, that's a tough ask. Li Tian said, should I announce it? Kang Ta San said, We should at least prepare mentally. Should I let them die without knowing anything? Li Tai Yan said, That might make me happier. While leaving the room, Kang Ta San said, I don't think so. Then he immediately left the room. After seeing Kang Ta San leave, with a smile, Li Tai Yan said, Ta San, you are strong. You can lead us to victory. But after saying that, Li Tai Yan immediately showed a sad expression, and he said, but I'm just a coward. Then there was seen that Li Taiyan was holding an object in his hand. After that, the players who had heard about the upcoming fourth wave, they all looked depressed and many players were crying. Jim Jung Gun sighed and said, I knew this day would come, but this is really disgusting. Kang Ta San asked Jim Jung Jun, what about you? Jim Jung Jun replied, I can't complain. Given the situation where everyone is dying, I've lived long enough. It's almost like a luxury. Kang Ta San asked, What does luxury have to do with death? After which Kang Ta San saw Li Chang Chun who looked like a depressed person. Kang Ta San said, Come to think of it, he's quite pathetic. Jum Jum Jun also said, Yes, I guess. After struggling to erase all of this, he might have to die right on the day that he can see the outside world. She's really unlucky. Jum Jum Jun asked Kang Ta San, What about you, Hyung? Then the sky turned dark and red lightning was striking everywhere. Jim Jung Jun continued to say, to be honest, you seem to be the most frustrated. If we put in half the effort you put in, we wouldn't be facing extinction, right? Kang Ta San said, yes, I'm so frustrated that I could die. Is that enough? Then the portal opened and the monsters came out from there, and there were so many of them. Seeing so many monsters appear, Jim Jung Jun said, wow, I'm going crazy. Which did you fight, Young? Kang Ta San replied, two as classes. After hearing that answer, Jim Jung Jun said, See you in the afterlife. I guess you'll be leaving first. Please wait for me. Kang Ta San replied, Understood. Then he activated the Great Leap skill, 
and Kang Ta San immediately jumped forward so high. After that he reached a height higher than the clouds, and he immediately activated the full scouting skill. And he opened the map screen and there were so many red spots in front of him, but on the map there were two large red spots. After that Kang Ta San said they found it. And he immediately landed to that point, and there was a monster that was so big and scary. The system told him that he was making eye contact with something bad. Then Kang Ta San looked at the monsters and said, Are you happy? Then the system immediately checked him. The system told him that insanity check is in progress, confusion check is in progress, fear check is in progress, immediate death is in progress. Then Kang Ta San immediately took out his sword and the system said, All checks were successful. You persevered with an indomitable spirit. Your mind will never break. Your body is imbued with unyielding endurance. Then Kang Ta San valiantly stood in front of them all and said, Da, you bastards. Kang Ta San continued to look at the two monsters, and the monsters had not made any movements either. Kang Ta San said, Everything will be fine as long as they are not defensive type monsters. After that, Kang Ta San immediately prepared his fighting position, and he activated the full Recon skill. The system informed him that the opponent he was facing was Monster 7, which was a defensive type monster and had a health count that almost touched 150 million. The monster immediately attacked Ta San, but he was quickly able to avoid the attack by using the body time acceleration skill, and after that Kang Ta San said, 148 million blood? What a joke. It will take forever to kill you. Then, what about the other monster? The system told him that the creature was Monster 5, which was a ranged attack type monster, and had a health count that almost touched 1,300,000. Kang Ta San said 1,300,000, it seems like this monster is easier to defeat, I guess. Then, Kang Ta San lunged at the monster, and he said, even if it's going to be difficult. The monster tried to attack Ta San using its tentacles, but Kang Ta San quickly attacked all the tentacles using his three slashes, and the system told him that he had dealt 42 damage to Monster 5, 38 damage to Monster 5, and 32 damage to Monster 5. Kang Ta San said, Damage is reduced when attacking tentacles. I must aim for the head. Kang Ta San immediately moved towards its head, but the monster did not stand still. The monster released its magic power in its tentacles and gathered all its tentacles. Then the monster shot its enormous magic at Ta San. Kang Ta San was hit by the attack. But because Ta San had the absolute nullification skill on the first attack, he did not receive any damage. But Kang Ta San was slightly pushed by the attack and he said, It looks like the attack will shoot in whichever direction the tentacles are aiming. There is no pause, and it is almost impossible to dodge it after seeing it. That means all one can do is to predict its trajectory. Kang Ta San then focused his gaze on the path of the attack, and he said, If I try hard enough and predict the attack path accurately, I should be able to avoid the attack. But the slower I understand it, the more I will be at a disadvantage. Then Kang Ta San activated the acceleration skill, and he quickly rammed into the monster, and he said, I have to move as fast as I can. Kang Ta San thrust his sword straight into the monster's head, and the attack dealt 48 damage, and the monster attacked Ta San again using its tentacles, but Kang Ta San had the absolute nullification skill on the second attack, and Ta San did not receive any damage to himself. Then the monster looked a little dying and the monster vomited a little blood from its mouth. Then the monster immediately fell to the ground. Kang Ta San saw that it was his chance to attack. Ta San immediately jumped and tried to attack the monster with his sword. But suddenly Monster 7 came and looked like he was protecting the monster. Kang Ta San said, he's protecting it. Defensive type monsters protect ranged attackers when they are in danger. That's probably why they were put together in the first place. But seeing this situation, Kang Ta San smiled and said gotcha. Then, Kang Ta San lunged at Monster 7, and he forcibly dueled the monster, and the barrier immediately surrounded the two of them. Monster 5 also tried to attack the barrier, but it was impenetrable, and the system said, for one minute, only Monster 7 can hurt you. And the two of them faced each other there, Kang Ta San said, this would be easy if Li Tadian was here because he has the legendary equipment and stats from completing solo mode. Then Kang Ta San also activated the addition skill, which could make his attack be doubled. Then he activated the multiplication skill, which made his attack be squared, and he activated the Abosu judgment skill, 
which made all the opponent's defenses be ignored. After activating those skills, Kang Ta San said defensive types can't damage Li Tai Dian, so we will take care of the long range attackers first, then slowly kill the defensive attackers. But I can't do that. The monster did not stand still, it looked like it was gathering strength in its mouth. Kang Ta San had not made any moves yet. He said it doesn't matter if the monster is defensive or offensive type. With these stats, one attack will finish me off. Kang Ta San also checked his current strength, and he said 9604. That's still not enough. Then Kang Ta San activated a skill in the system said, You have reactivated the designated skill. This skill cannot be activated again for a month. You have reset multiplication. You have activated multiplication. The current attack is squared. Kang Ta San immediately gave a confident look, and the monster immediately fired its attack. Kang Ta San said, I should have attacked the monster that had lower blood first. The only thing I can rely on is my skill. Kang Ta San also tried to avoid the attack by approaching the mouth of the monster, and when he was there, he read 9604 squared. That's not even close to 100 million. Then Kang Ta San shouted, That's why I have to reach my limit. Then he activated the copy skill, which made the next attack at twice. Kang Ta San immediately stabbed the monster, and his attack dealt 92 million damage. And because he activated the copy skill, his attack dealt damage once again, and he defeated the monster. Kang Ta San also looked exhausted, but suddenly Monster 5 shot his attack, and it caused Ta San to receive 22,543 damage. Then Kang Ta San immediately activated the Endure skill. The system said, Fatal attack cancelled. All damage for 5 seconds is reduced to zero. Kang Ta San also looked a little staggered, but he did not give up. After receiving the attack, Ta San immediately moved quickly and stabbed the monster and his attack dealt 48 damage. Kang Ta San also said, All my absolute nullification has been spent, and I only have one defense skill. For now on, it's a simple fight, dodge, attack, repeat. But now the problem here is. Then the screen of his status appeared, and it was written that he only had 21 magic points out of 820 magic points. Kang Ta San said, I have no more skills. 1.2 million HP needs to be cut down with just regular attacks. Simply put, I need to hit this monster 25,000 times. I'm going to go crazy this time. Then day after day, Kang Ta San continued to fight with the monster. The monster's health points continued to decrease, and with great difficulty, the halath points of the monster was only 125,000 left. Kang Ta San looked exhausted, but he didn't give up. He shouted and attacked the monster again. The system said, You are in a state of full concentration. Your body and mind are one. Magic power has been implanted in your soul. You have obtained the Interception Increase Soul Skill. Since you have escaped the maze, you are unable to acquire the skill. Interception Increase has been sealed. Kang Ta San said shut up. And there it was shown that the monster had fallen and was in a dying condition. Then Kang Ta San immediately stabbed the monster and his attack dealt 48 damage. Then the system told him that Monster 5 had fallen. Kang Ta San looked so exhausted and his breath was panting. Then the system said, Gods from all dimensions cannot contain their amazement at your achievement. After that, Kang Ta San said, How long have I been fighting? It feels like it's been over a month. Damn statistics. Then with a bloody body and weak footsteps, he walked away from there, and he said, Let's go back. Then he walked away from there, and the map detected that there was still one big red dot left. After reaching the town, he saw many dead players, and he said, Bajanangan, Along the way he walked, he continued to see many corpses everywhere. Kang Ta San said, You guys keep talking about how great you are as hard mode players. So why am I the easy mode player, the only one left? Why did I come back for my victory to see that all of you are dead? Then Kang Ta San stopped his steps and right in front of him, he saw Jum Jum Jun lying there. Kang Ta San said, Looks like you went to the netherworld, just like you said. Kang Ta San also recalled the moment with Jum Jung Jun who always smiled with him. Then, Kang Ta San looked to the other side, and there was a woman who had fallen there, and that person was Li Tai Dian. Kang Ta San said, the one who conquered the hardships of solo mode, and the one who has the strongest ranking in the world, and the one who killed him is. Then from the ground appeared an eye-shaped monster, and someone appeared from there. Kang Ta San said, this apostle. The creature tried to attack Ta San mentally, and he said, You will soon meet death.
Kang Tasan said shut up. Get that nonsense out of here. Because of his extraordinary determination, Tasan was able to eliminate such mental attacks and the system said, successfully resisted. The apostle was surprised and Tasan immediately activated the aim true skill. Then he stabbed the creature and the system could not tell how much damage he had done. Kang Tasan was annoyed with the creature, and he said, Come here, you bastard. Kang Tasan continued to stare at the creature, and in the silence of the night in this city, it seemed that the two of them were just silent, and Kang Tasan said, Damn. Then a reddish aura appeared from below, and suddenly the creature released its attack from there. Kang Tasan was pierced by the attack, and he said, So this is how it ends. Kang Tasan immediately fell to the ground and the system said, Your help point has reached zero fortitude is activated. You'll be forced to live for one minute. Kang Tasan said, Bastard, let me die in peace. I can't feel the lower half of my body. I think my spine was also severed when that thing pierced my heart. Fortitude only delays my death. It did not heal me. Then the apostle approached the corpse of Li Taidian. Kang Tasan said, I will die soon. I think he already knows that. Damn it. Then the sky cracked and an eye appeared from the crack. Kang Tasan said, if I didn't choose easy mode back then. The crack was forced apart by the claws of the creature inside. Kang Tasan continued saying, damn, even normal mode. Tasan recalled how weak he was and Kang Tasan said, no. You guys are useless. You guys are useless. Then Tasan started blaming the other players. He said, You guys can't even build your own strength properly because you're too busy trying to conquer the maze. How are you guys so weak even after choosing normal or hard mode? If only you guys did half the work I did, we could have. Kang Tasan immediately soaked back his emotions, and he immediately said, Never mind. It's in the past, and it's something I chose to do. There's no point in blaming others. This is where humanity ends. Then a light appeared from the object that Li Taiyan was holding. Kang Tasan immediately looked at the object and he said, That's it. So he's trying to protect something too. Kang Tasan immediately moved to crawl towards Li Taiyan. The apostle realized that Tasan was moving there. The creature said, Stay there. The system said, You have activated the last chance. One skill can be used without any restrictions. Kang Tasan said, Time stop. The system said, You have activated simple time stop. Time in a 100-meter radius is stopped for two minutes. Kang Tasan managed to crawl there, and after that he immediately tried to examine the object, and the system informed him that it was the Bazaar Ouroboros. The system explained that the Bazaar of the gods that controls the cycle of all life. It can turn back time one person, once. Kang Tasan said, what? Turn back time? Why Li Tadion? Then the crack in the sky grew bigger, and from it emerged a huge monster and it headed straight for Tasan. But before the monster could attack Tasan, he immediately used the item, and he said, See you later, bitch. Then time slowly goes back to the past. Then there is shown Kang Tasan, who is still a child. There he is being scolded by his parents. They say, Kang Tasan, you're such a useless bastard. Why were you born? Kang Tasan also told about his past. When you were a kid, my parents used me to relieve stress. I believed their words after being beaten like that, and I thought I was worthless. This weakness of mine made me choose easy mode. But that's not the case anymore. I know my own value and talent now, so this time. Then Kang Tasan woke up in a messy room, and he immediately checked around the room and he said this. Then he got up and immediately took his cell phone. Then he said, I'm really back. And on her cell phone it was written that it was 11 p.m., and now she was approaching the beginning of the year. Kang Tasan said January 1, 2020, to think that at the beginning of the new year, the fall of the earth will begin. In his room, Tasan got a pizza there, and he immediately ate it with happiness. Kang Tasan said, How long has it been since I last ate pizza? All we eat after the apocalypse is potatoes and monster carcasses. He immediately finished the pizza, and he immediately thought about the object again. He said, Who knows Li Taiyan has an item that can turn back time. But why didn't he use it, even until the end? Li Tanyan, who I know will run away, who knows? Kang Tasan went out to his balcony, and he immediately checked the time on his cell phone. Kang Tasan said soon. Everyone in the world must be counting down the time right now. Welcoming the new year thinking things will get better. Unfortunately, when the new year comes, the world. 
The sky suddenly emitted a red light, and it looked like there was going to be an open portal there. The people who were there said, Did you hear something just now? Are they doing some kind of event somewhere? Then at exactly 12 p.m., the light that appeared became even brighter. The people who saw it became frightened, and they said, What is it? Then from the light appeared a monster that was opening a portal. Everyone became scared and they shouted, It's a monster. Kang Tasan was very relaxed looking at the sky and he said, I was shocked at the time. But I know what it is now. Around B rank, I think. A monster that hard players can fight with no problem. Isn't it about time? Then the system appeared in front of everyone, and the system said hello. Your world is about to be destroyed by the invaders. The weapons that you have so carefully crafted are useless against them. But don't worry. The loving beings who have taken pity on you have decided to give you all a chance. You will all be given a choice. Choose the one you want to choose and enter the labyrinth. Tack looking and gain power. Kang Tasan said mercy my ass. They're just crazy for entertainment. Then the system appeared and gave four difficulty levels. There was easy mode, normal mode, hard mode, and solo mode. Kang Tasan recalled his past and the little Tasan saw Kang Tasan who was standing with confidence. Kang Tasan said, all right, let's go now. The system explained about all the difficulty levels, easy mode, with abundant food supplies and resting places scattered throughout the maze. This mode promises you benefits. Even ordinary and weak people with enough effort, you can eventually complete this mode. In normal mode, food will be scarce and the resting places in the maze are much less than in easy mode. Surviving there will be challenging, but with determination and resilience in the face of despair, completing this mode is possible. Hard mode, this is the mode that will test your limits. Food is scarce, and resting places are few and far between. Monsters will gladly risk their lives to kill you. If you don't ensure maximum safety, you will lose your life in a gruesome manner. Solo mode, this is the mode where you are alone. You won't meet anyone from your world. The only things you will encounter here are monsters, enemies, and NPCs. In this place that tested everything, your luck, talent, wisdom, and survival strategy were impossible. Kang Ta San pressed the screen in front of him and the system said, If you value your life, avoid choosing this difficulty. The sky began to crack again and Ta San immediately saw the crack, and he said, You're out there, right? Wait for me. Then, Kang Ta San chose solo mode, and the system said, May fortune be with you. Then he went straight into a portal, and after that, he was in the middle of the city. Kang Ta San said, What a nostalgic and familiar feeling. After a long time, I'm back in this place. Then a post appeared from Kang Jun Huk solo mode. He wrote a message in there and he asked, Friends, what is this? Kang Ta San immediately checked the post and he said, There's a post already. I don't know who it is, but they adapted quickly. Kang Ta San also explained that community is the only method to have conversations with people of different difficulties. It really helps when others share it. Kang Ta San replied to the post, saying, Keep up the good work. Kang Ta San also said, The community can only be utilized later, so there is no purpose to use it now. What needs to be checked now is. Kang Ta San also recalled his conversation with Li Taiyin. Previously, Li Taiyin asked Ta San, what ought the NPCs in easy mode? Tasan replied only NPCs with predetermined answers and repetitive behavior. What's the difference? Li Taiyan said, it's different. NPCs in solo mode are those with true intelligence and move freely, almost like real people. Then Kang Tasan saw an NPC sitting next to the gate. Tasan said the gatekeeper NPC guarding the entrance to the maze. He's just an ordinary white-haired old man in easy mode. The man started to stand up, and he said, What are you here already? I thought it would take about a month. Then after the man stood up, Ta San could feel the aura emitted by the man, and after that, Ta San immediately started sweating. And he said, This, this man is stronger than Li Taidian. Is this what they call a gatekeeper? The man said, Well, first of all, congratulations. My name is Brokenman, the guardian of this place and your guide. Kang Ta San said, Brokenman Pa. And Brokenman said, the challenger who failed to become a gatekeeper. Seems to make sense, doesn't it? You've heard it roughly, haven't you? Your world is being destroyed by invaders. This place is an opportunity bestowed upon you by a merciful transcendent being. This loving being must be dirty. It would be happier to perish. Upon hearing such words, Kang Ta San said, as if he himself experienced it, he spoke. Tadian was right. 
The NPCs in solo mode were truly alive. What's more, they're from a destroyed world. Brokenman looked at Kane Tassan and he said, why is this kid so calm? If you live in a peaceful world and come here, shouldn't you panic? So I thought about beating him up and then explaining it, but he was quite calm. Brokenman also spoke to Tassan. He said, anyway, this is a maze. Some call it a maze tower, but you can call it whatever you want. The maze has a total of 100 floors with big changes every 10 floors. Naturally, the deeper you go, the harder it gets. You have to find the food in the maze yourself, and you have to figure out the specifics by yourself. My explanation is done here. Kang Tassan said, is that everything? While yawning, Brokenman said, what, want me to explain what's on the first floor, what's on the second floor, and so on? There's someone inside selling items, asked him. Kang Tassan also recalled the story from Li Tanyin. Previously, Li Tanyin told him that the gate guards are grumpy and will beak you if you complain. I almost died before entering the maze, got it. Kang Tassan said, so that's it, I guess I better shut up here. Then, suddenly Brokemon released the power in his finger, and he opened the portal with that finger, and he said, but I should at least give you the basics. Then he immediately took out a weapon from the portal, and the weapon was a spear. Then, Brokemon smiled, and he immediately slashed the spear at Tassan. But Tassan just stayed silent, and it seemed that she wasn't scared to see that. Brokemon immediately pulled the spear back and he said take this. Kang Ta San received the clothing from Brokenman, and the system told him that it was a sun-faded skin protector that had a defense plus one status, and it seemed like it could prevent minor cuts and bruises. Then he also received a rusty sword, which had an attack status of plus one, and seemed to be destroyed soon. After getting the items, Kang Ta San said, this is substandard. Brokenman looked a little annoyed, and he said, what, you don't like it? Kang Ta San replied, no. Brokemon immediately thought about something. Then Kang Ta San asked what's wrong. Brokemon replied, no, it's fine. Then Brokemon threw an item to Ta San, and he said, here, take this too. And that item was a worn-out wrist guard, which had a plus one defense status, and the bracelet had lost its original value due to long-term use. It seemed like it could protect against animal bites. After receiving all the items, Kang Ta San said, what is this? As far as I know, Taeyeon has never received such guarding. Brokenman also said, various skills will be added, so check your skills as well. Then, go in now. Kang Ta San said, yes, thank you. After that, Ta San immediately entered the maze and Brokenman said, good luck. Then Brokenman thought about Kang Ta San, he said, is that person smiling? It's as if he's excited about entering the maze. As a gatekeeper, I have met so-called genius challengers, but none of them have ever conquered this maze. But the man I just saw, he had something different. Not just talent or simple ability, but something more basic. The strength to survive. I hope he survives. After entering the labyrinth, the system immediately gave an explanation to Tassan. This place is a labyrinth created by a great wizard long ago. And there are rumors that it grants one wish to whoever conquers it. This place is a prison where monstrous entities move without breath, and living things die. Everything in this place exists to oppress you. Eternal glory awaits you, who will break through the deep and dark abyss. The first floor, the entrance to the labyrinth. It is a place where things that die when pierced come to life. The power of this place is not that strong. Kang Tassan said, shall we begin? And the system said, the main quest begins. After that, the system informed that this place is full of hidden locations and secrets. Depending on the secrets you find, rewards will be given when you complete them. The first floor quest begins. Defeat the boss on the first floor and proceed. The reward for completing this floor is a random stat enhancement potion, and there is a secret reward. Kang Ta San recalled the conversation between him and Li Taiyan. There, Li Taiyan said, Ta San, there's a shopkeeper even in easy mode, right? Kang Ta San said, yeah, there's a merchant. Li Taiyan asked, what kind of merchant is he? Kang Ta San replied, well, he's just a simple person. They just sell some herbs there. Li Taiyan said, but we're not like easy mode. They sell a lot of items. Kang Ta San said, are you bragging? Then Li Taiyan showed the bracelet he was wearing. He said, look at this. It was the Dark Shadows bracelet a top-tier item that reduced incoming damage by 50%. Kang Tassan was surprised to see that, and he said, they sell it in the store. 
Li Tanyan said, there are many more, but I can't afford to buy them because of the lack of gold. If you buy them all from the store, you might be stronger than me. Then Kang Ta San found a door there and he said, I didn't care about something like this back then, but the situation has changed now. Then Kang Ta San opened the door, and inside there was someone who was sitting casually there and the person said, What are you here? The system told him that you have found the missing king. After that Kang Ta San approached the person, and he said hello. The person said hello. It seems like your mental state is still good. What is your name? Kang Ta San said, My name is Ta San. Are you a shopkeeper? The person said, So what if I am? Kang Ta San looked around the room and he said, There's nothing in your shop. The man smiled and said, Young man, to display all my items, it would take up more space than the entire first floor in this maze. And I have no intention of showing you my wares. Kang Ta San said a shopkeeper who doesn't sell his wares. Then he spoke to that person, Yes, then, why are you here? That person said, Do you think I'm here because I want to? Then he kicked the table and shouted, I had to leave my kingdom because of that damn monster. What kind of life is this? Besides, I don't want to show off my items to stupid people. Kang Ta San said, that's it. While showing a room, the shopkeeper said, however, if you show me what kind of person you are, that might change. Kang Ta San immediately looked at the room, and it looked so dark and scary. Then the shopkeeper said, come back safely. Then I will show you my items. Kang Ta San said, so, the selling condition is survival. Then he spoke to the shopkeeper, is that okay with you? The shopkeeper looked at Ta San, and he said, you are a strange person. Kang Ta San said, excuse me. So I have to conquer the maze to see the item. The shopkeeper said, no, not really. Kang Ta San said, then I'll go. Then, without any hesitation, Kang Ta San went straight to the room. The shopkeeper was confused by Ta San's actions, and he said, normally, people would be scared and trembling, but why is he so calm? He can't seem to feel any fear at all. How can there be someone like this? Well, he's not coming back anyway, so does it really matter? After entering the room, Kang Ta San said the corridor and the room. The structure of the first floor is the same as easy mode. It looks safe without any visible danger, but suddenly there was a terrible sound from there. Ta San immediately looked at the source of the sound and he said, this can't be right. Then from the dark room, there appeared a monster and that monster was Big Rat. The system told him that a big rat has appeared. Then the monster moved quickly towards Ta San. Kang Ta San said big rat. The monster that was the fifth boss in easy mode. And here he's just an ordinary monster. Then the monster directly attacked Ta San's leg and the system said, you take 10 damage. Kang Ta San said big rat. Its defense is weak, but it moves at a speed that's hard to track. So it takes a long time to defeat it. A monster like that is a normal creature on this floor. It really makes me feel the difference. Then Ta San immediately counterattacked the monster, but the monster was able to dodge his attacks. Kang Ta San said, he's fast as expected. When we used on this thing in easy mode, players had to work together to chase it here and there until it got tired. Now, I'm alone. My stats are lower than they were back then, making it almost impossible for me to win. No wonder Li Ta Yan ran away. First of all, among all the players who managed to conquer the first floor in solo mode, none of them fought with the big rat. Because most players who encounter this monster will end up being killed and eaten by the monsters. Kang Ta San said, Now I understand the reason the shopkeeper told me to come here. Kang Ta San immediately fought with the monsters and he said the principle of the maze reward is simple. Achieve something that others cannot. The monster managed to attack Ta San again and he dealt 8 damage to him. After that, he continued his talk or achieve a feat that can be appreciated by everyone. Only then will you receive a reward worthy of it, and my goal here is to become stronger than anyone else in this place. Kang Ta San continued to try to attack the monster, but none of his attacks landed right on the monster. With the last attack, he did almost hit the head of the monster, and after that he said, if I can't keep up with his speed, the only option is to predict when it will move. The monster looked scared of Ta San, because the previous attack almost killed the monster, and now the monster was feeling threatened by Ta San's presence. Kang Ta San said, It's a living creature that needs to breathe. Every creature has an initial movement before taking any action. Then Ta San started to watch the monster, and he said, The leg muscles are contracting. The chest is rising. Then he said, Now, and Ta San slashed at the monster. 
but the monster dodged the attack, and the system said Big Rat is intimidated by you. His decision-making has become slower, Kang Tasan said, with his tiny brain it must be hard to understand the situation right now. He can't attack my ankle anymore, so we'll aim for the second easiest place to attack. Given its low jumping ability, it will aim for my wrist. Then the monster jumped up and immediately bit his wrist. Kang Tasan said, you're done. Then Tasan stabbed the monster and the system said you attacked. Big Rat is paralyzed. More damage is needed. Tasan continued to stab the monster and the system said, you dealt four damage to Big Rat. You dealt five damage to Big Rat. And after a while Tasan returned to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper was surprised and Kang Tasan said, I'm back. And in his hand, he was already carrying a bag with the corpse of Big Rat in it. And the system said, you can eat Big Rat's meat if you want.